welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a no foundation makeup look. So I've got no base products going on. It'll just be eye makeup and I'll do some cheap products and eyebrows and lips. It's just something that I've been experimenting with lately. I actually think it looks okay. I mean, my skin's not really that bad at the moment, so foundation isn't always 100% necessary, really. So I'm going to start by doing like my eyeshadow as I would normally do. So I want to prime my eyelids. I'm going to be using this Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and this is a colour correcting one. This is the lemon one which is the yellow one and I really love this lately. I just like use this under my foundation a lot of the time. Obviously I'm not doing foundation on this look but for when I do. I literally just use this like, um, you're supposed to use it on purple areas but I use it like on purple areas and I kind of put it on with blemishes as well and then like go on top of foundation and it just gives really good coverage. I don't really like the normal lasting perfection, like the light shade is too dark for me so I don't really use it, but I actually do really like the formula of the concealers because I think they give really good coverage. So I'm just gonna put this on my eyelids. And I just wanna set that in place obviously. Um, so I'm going to use this powder. This is one I got off of Amazon. Um, it's from a brand called Constance Carol, and it's a bambooed, bamboo powder with silk, and um, I'm loving this at the moment. But I think I need to calm down with it because I need it for my full face of Amazon makeup video, and I'm worried I'm gonna run out before the head. I just wanna make sure I've got no creases before I put this on to set it. Go in and set that concealer down. Okay, so I'm gonna do some eyeshadow now. This isn't gonna be anything too extravagant, just a pretty basic eyeshadow look. I'm going to start by using this Freedom uh, Pro 12 Secret Rose Palette, which I really like. It's kind of just neutral colors with a few shimmers in there. Start with this quite um, neutral, uh, light brown color, right at the top here, if you can see. And this is just a matte light brown and I'm just gonna work this through my crease, obviously using a little crease brush. I'm gonna get this shade which is kind of like a, oh there we are, a like matte quite dark pink colour with a bit of a red tone. And I'm kind of gonna go over what I've done there and put it in like my outer corner as well. I'm gonna get this um, kind of grey, blacky matte colour at the bottom here and I'm just gonna concentrate that in the outer third to kind of make a bit of a smoke. Do I know what I'm doing? No, of course not. I'm just getting a wipe and kind of um, neatening up that outer corner. So we've got a kind of outer part of the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna get this um, big ass palette. This is called Delanche, and this is just off Amazon. That's what it looks like. Massive. And I'm gonna get this shade right at the top here. This is kind of like a glimmery light pink color. Really pretty. And I'm just gonna put, put, I'm gonna put it. I'm going to put it on the kind of inner part of my eye, and I will just use my fingers for this. I'm just gonna quickly blend everything, just a tad, because I don't want to lose any pigmentation. I'm gonna go back to the Freedom palette. I'm just gonna get this um, uh, whitey colour and I'm just gonna put this under my brow. Okay, that's more or less it for the eyeshadow, just showing that. Nothing too fancy going on, pretty basic. I do want to line my waterlines now. I'm just going to use this um, eye pencil from a brand called Label, which is a standard black eyeliner pencil. I'm just going to put this on my top and bottom waterlines. As we're not doing any foundation, I may as well just do the kind of bottom bit of my eye as well. I'll get the kind of dark pink colour that I used earlier, this one here, 
and I'm just going to get my fluffy brush and I'm just going to put a bit of this under my eyes. Okay, next I'm going to do my mascara. I'm using my favourite at the moment, the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara. I'm just going to do my top and bottom lashes. eyebrows now I'm just keeping this pretty simple I'm gonna use the brush on brows fiber gel from new look and this is the dark brown one I use this on its own a lot because it just really does fill in your brows <laughs> okay next I'm gonna go back in with the bamboo powder and I'm just gonna put this over my face quite lightly just to kind of control any oil I've got going on and also because um, it will help the cheap products to blend a little better obviously this doesn't give any coverage it's just gonna kind of like mattify my face a bit my forehead especially gets really oily I don't know why my nose especially need it in the cheeks <laughs> Okay, so I want some bronzer now, and I'm going to use the um, Vita Liberata Luxury Tan Minerals um, that I got on the Cohorted Beauty Box this month, and there's a little brush that comes with it, and I really like this bronzer, so I'm going to use this just on my cheekbones for a little bit of colour. <laughs> just want to blend that out just a tad. Okay, next I want some highlight, of course, and I'm going to use the Goddess of Love by I Heart Makeup Triple Baked Highlighter. This is just quite like a pinky toned one. I really like this. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to use this fan brush that I got off of Amazon. And I'm just going to put this in the normal places. I'd put highlight on my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, my nose, my chin, and I've also started putting it on my temples recently, which I never did before, but... I saw other people doing it, and actually, I quite like how it looks. Alright, just going to blend that a touch. The last thing that I need to do is my lips, and um, I'm probably about to eat, so it's probably not the best idea to do my lips, but I'm going to do it anyway. I think I'll use a Freedom Pro Melt Lip Gloss. And this one is in the shade True. This is quite like an orangey, nudey toned colour. And I'm just going to put some of this on my lips. Keep it quite neutral. That is way more orangey than I thought it was. I changed my mind. I don't really like this colour. It's a bit too orangey. I'm going to take that off. <laughs> At least it's a lot easier to take lip products off when you don't have foundation on. Because you don't have to worry about ruining it. Okay, I'll go in with this one called Naked, because I know that I like this one. This is a kind of more darky, pinky nude. So I'll use this one instead, because I pretty much remember that I do like this one. <laughs> Only issue with these is they're very glossy, and I don't really like gloss that much. So in that case, I will get some pressed powder, or loose powder, whatever you want. And I just dab a little bit of this with my finger. Just get the powder on your finger and you just dab it in to mattify I'm gonna get any rid of any mascara mess that I made with cotton lead. Pretty much it. A no foundation makeup look. Pretty happy with the finished results. Obviously, I'll see if I can like, kind of show you where my imperfections are showing through. Just to show you that you can you can do makeup. And you, it doesn't matter. You don't need to cover up your skin. You can still be creative and do what you want. But let your free skin show through at the same time. To get the most spots like around my chin. My forehead lately has been a bit problematic. But, you know, obviously my skin's really not that bad at the moment. But um, 
it would be a bit more challenging to do this on a day when my skin is really bad but um honestly like i'm fine with it i like how my skin looks at the moment okay so that's all for this video i hope you liked the makeup look and i'm going to go now and i'll see you in my next video bye